Today's video, we're going to show you how to use the play curl flat out of the trip side in formation to attack any kind of double Mabel coverage or some of the most popular advanced adjustments that people will use to slow down your trips tied in offense. If you guys want to get my entire trips tied in offensive ebook, we've got several different versions of the trips tied in. This one's out of today. We're in the Bills playbook, but we've got Bills, Packers, Patriots, all of that stuff is broken down in the Patreon. Again, if you want to sign up for that, the link's going to be down in the description below. It's only $10 and you'll get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks by becoming a member. So what I wanted to talk about today is a really, really good route combination. If your opponent is doing some kind of advanced adjustments, one of the, the foundational adjustments that you're going to see from a lot of people this year is just a basic double Mabel coverage. The double Mabel coverage is one of the most popular ways that people are going to try to slow down your, you know, your flood concepts, your corner routes to the right, your corner routes to the left. And so this is a great setup for kind of combating that. All we're going to do is we're going to put the inside trips receiver on a curl. We're going to streak the running back. And you have a choice here if you want to put your tight end on a tight end apprentice corner. And I'm going to explain the pros and cons to both of those in just a minute. The first things first, though, is if they're running double Mabel, your double Mabel coverage, you are going to have either your running back or you are going to have your inside trips receiver. And really, it just kind of depends on who they use her. So let me give you kind of a, a little bit of an example of what I'm talking about. So let's say they use her the running back in this example. You're going to see it's going to open up this void on the left-hand side for us to be able to hit this curl route. So you see here they use the running back. We can throw this curl to the inside. Uh, trips receiver over there on the left. So that's kind of part A of this. Um, part B of this is actually kind of a, a little bit more of an advanced read here. Um, one of the better adjustments that they could do is if they left this vertical hook over here on the left and then they had a curl flat defender and they basically told you they're going to use the running back and they're going to also use her like if the tight end was to go on a deep post route or something, then they would have to take that with their user as well. But anyways, what you'll see on this is your your uh, curl route is actually a super underrated route, especially against a five yard curl flat. If they put a 10 yard curl flat, then the flat route is probably going to be a little bit more open against that defensive coverage. Now, as I said in the beginning, um, you do have a little bit of an option with this setup here. And the option is basically if you wanted to put your tight end on a short corner or leave him on a deep corner. If you put him on a short corner and you have your running back on this streak, a lot of times what can happen against a backed off cloud is you can actually throw this, as you can see right there, you can actually throw this underneath of that backed off cloud flat defender. So if they are consistently using a 30 yard cloud flat and they are showing you pre-snap that they're backing these corners off, that typically means the corner is either going to be in a hard flat or a 30 yard cloud flat. Rarely are they going to be on a third or something. And even if they are, we'll talk about that in a minute. But what you'll see here again, this little short corner just past laid down and outside that 30 yard cloud is not going to be able to defend that. And he's also, even if they have deep out zone knockout, they're not going to be able to defend that either. Now, I wanted to show you kind of some other things that you can do off of this uh, to kind of adjust this. And, and we're going to talk about one of the meta ways a lot of people like to defend trips tied in with uh, cross manning here in just a minute. But let's say they go to a coverage shell that looks something like this here where they have a third over there. This is where uh, the short corner is going to still be very advantageous to you because what you'll see is the running back will move that third out of the way. And again, we can throw that tight in on the right side of the screen. Now, where it gets a little bit interesting is how are you going to handle it if, let's say, they give you a pre-snap look like this, where they might have a baseline pressed outside quarter on that side. This is where, I mean, overall, the short corner is probably a better route just because it's going to get, as you can see, it's going to get underneath these zones really, really well where it can kind of be a little bit up to you a little bit is when they start to press, uh, maybe they maybe they don't baseline and press, but maybe they do something like this right here. When they're not baseline and pressing on this, this running back streak will do a really good job of clearing out the zone. And then the tight end corner, the deeper corner route can be an absolute huge play for your offense. Another reason why you might want to do this is if they're trying to kind of get a little bit of justy on you and actually go with a cloud flat defender. If they're trying to go with a cloud flat defender over here on this on this uh, tight end side, if that cloud flat defender is pressed, 
then the deeper corner out is going to be better because as you're going to see, he got he actually got matched by the three wreck, which is weird. The three wreck in this game does all kinds of weird stuff. It's hard to it's hard to understand exactly what a three wreck does, uh, which is probably what makes it so good. But anyways, the point being here, I'm going to use a cloud flat. This is a 30 yard zone dropped cloud flat, but it is pressed. If the cloud flat is pressed up field uh, or up to the line of scrimmage, this corner out consistently will always, almost always. Uh, will pretty much always be at a cloud flat. And then the quarter, the only thing you have to be a little susceptible to if you want to leave this deeper corner out is really if they are in something like a baseline press cover four drop. If they're in a baseline and press cover four drop, this is technically still open, but it's a super like it's a much, much more likely that there's going to be a KO than if you put the hot route master or the tight end apprentice corner on there. Now, the last thing that I wanted to do uh, with this breakdown is explain how this breakdown is going to work against man coverage if your opponent happens to be maybe doing a cross man setup. A lot of people, whenever they're defending trips tight end, they like to do these cross man setups where essentially you're going to get a defense that looks something like this on the left hand side. On the right hand side, it might just be a very basic vanilla cover two. Uh, it just kind of depends a little bit on what they're doing. Oftentimes, um, they're not going to cross me on the right side. They're going to cross me on the left side. The reason this is uh, significant for us is because, again, if it goes back to what we were just showing you here, you're going to see that this tight end corner is going to beat any kind of cover two. So they can't really do that. So now their user is going to have to go to the right side of the screen at the snap of the ball. So their user is going to have to go to the right to help to, uh, combat this tight end corner. So because the user is going to have to vacate the middle of the field, this is where this little curl, we're just going to pass lay this down right when he turns around, and it's going to be a nice, easy read for your for your offense. The other route that you have here, um, it's, it's sometimes – it, it, it does depend a little bit on what they're doing on this outside um, and, and different people will do different things. One, one thing that's actually really common would be to do something like this, where we have a kind of something like this right here. The reason I wanted to show this is because please don't underestimate the power of your outside curl, your outside curl. So you see here, even though he's crossed, man, even though there's a lot going on, we're still able to complete that curl route. This is also the power of having set feet lead on your quarterback because with set feet lead, um, this is, you know, it's a little bit easier to make some of these throws um, specifically against man-to-man -man coverage. Set feet lead, both curls will be able to be thrown unless they're shading underneath, which if they're shading underneath, your running back will be open uh, over the top. You'll have a lot of things if they're shading underneath. But anyways, that is curl flat, one of my favorite plays in the game, one of the most critical plays uh, to help trips tight end really become an unstoppable offense because they can't really do a lot of the things that they would want to do to be able to defend some of the more powerful trips tight end setups. Thanks for watching this video. And if you want to check out my entire trips tight end offensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. It's only $10. It'll get you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks. And I guarantee you, it will help you make you a better Madden player. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description and click the link down below.